New at six, the Miami Burn Center is one of the leading burn treatment centers in the country. This week, it's raising awareness about burn safety and prevention. And CBS 4's Dave Warren has more. Emergency personnel, doctors, nurses at the Ryder Trauma Center Thursday morning, not to treat patients, but instead raise awareness. The burn patients have very special needs because of the scars, the, the pain that they endure, and the very difficult situation that they're in when this occurs. Miami Burn Center was there to raise awareness about burn treatment and also introduce two individuals impacted by the center. They brought her back to health. Angie Knight is the mother of Shania, a nine-year-old burn victim who suffered burns to 45% of her body. They helped me, they pushed me. It's like a family here. They took care of Shania just like Shania was their child. It's not only the treatment of the burn, but the care the patients receive during their recovery that these patients appreciate. Help you get through that. They help you recover yourself physically, emotionally, psychologically. It's all aspects of treatment that creates a strong bond between the center and its patients. But Burn Awareness Week was not just about the treatment. We all know that burns can be 100% prevented. For the past 35 years, the center has worked with local fire departments and public educators for their safety expo. This year, however, it went virtual because even though they may have some of the best burn doctors, we'd never want to see or meet a burn patient behind these walls in the trauma bay in the burn unit. Recognizing great treatment, but also stressing prevention during this Burn Awareness Week. Well, it wasn't emotional to hear the stories from the burn patients about their experiences here, uh, but they also want to get the word out about Burn Prevention Week and that Children's Fire Safety Festival. It's virtual this year, but you can view it. We put a link on our webpage, cbsmiami.com. At the Ryder Trauma Center, Dave Horn, CBS 4 News.